orbital specific energy is energy per unit mass. If I increase the velocity, I will increase the kinetic energy assuming that my position stays constant. This will increase the orbital specific energy, but because there's a negative sign, this term actually decreases. But since the semi-major axis is in the denominator, the semi-major axis will increase as I increase my velocity. In the frame of reference of the Sun, the Earth and a spacecraft in low Earth orbit is one system. Their orbit can be described using position vector, a velocity vector which is tangent to the orbit, and taking the cross product of the position and velocity vector, we get specific angular momentum, which is angular momentum per unit mass. The Cartesian elements can be added, subtracted, cross product, or dot product to obtain the Calperian elements. If I increase my velocity in an instantaneous burn, the true anomaly would decrease, and all the other elements described here would increase. A Hoffman transfer allows a spacecraft to go from Earth orbit to Mars orbit, but we have to do that in the right place. To do that, we need to use Kepler's law of areas, which states that area swept over a given time is always constant. You find the time it takes for Mars to go to an intersection point. That time is the same time it takes for the spacecraft to go to a transfer orbit, which we can determine using Kepler's law of period. Period squared is semi-major axis cubed, and half of that is 0 0.654 years. The total area swept by Mars is pi times semi-major axis times semi-minor axis. And the orbital period, we can also determine using Kepler's law of period. From cross-multiplying, we can determine area 1, and then we can use that to determine the angle. In Mars's sphere of influence, we have to change our orbit from a hyperbolic one to a parabolic one. 